Congratulations, guys. Pat yourself on the back here. Maryland ranked number one as the most brain healthy in the United States. Neurologist Dr. Majid Fatuhi is joining us this morning with more really what this means and what we've done. Thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. Does this just mean that we are of superior intelligence to the other 49 states? Yes, this was a survey to look at the factors that affect brain health and see which states do better. Yeah. They are based on four important things. Number one is diet, nutrition, and how much DHA, which is an omega-3 fatty acid you have in your diet, the second one is level of physical activity, huh. level of mental activity, and finally level of social activity. So when you look at these and compare different states, it turns out that Maryland is doing really well. Were you surprised in this research? Were you surprised in hearing those numbers? I think that here in Maryland, we have uh, a lot of uh, educational uh, institutions and there's a lot of emphasis on education. Mm -hmm. And also people are very mindful of uh, healthy eating. A lot of people take omega-3 fatty acids such as DHA, which is really good for the brain. And when I'm taking a look at the brain right now, looking at all the different hemispheres, are there certain things, obviously we talked about the, the fish and seafood, that, that is certainly good for the brain. Are there other things that are, that are good for different facets of the brain? Yes. I like people to realize one important fact. There are simple but powerful things you could do every day to keep your brain healthy. Mm -hmm. You know how you take care of your teeth every day? Yep. You spend a few minutes, and in the long term, you have healthier teeth. Well, the same applies to your brain. You can do simple little things every day that will keep your brain healthy in the long term. Like what? These things are, in your case, and people who work around here, is like level of stress. That's really not good for the brain. Uh oh. So keeping a sort of a relaxed mind and do meditation is really good. Mm -hmm. And then one thing is good for your profession is because you learn new things, you're always stimulating your brain. That's another good thing for the brain. And also physical exercise. When you exercise, you actually create new brain cells huh. in your brain. Nothing else can do that. But if you do vigorous exercise five days a week for about 45 minutes, then you can make a difference. We do have a program, actually I run a brain center called NeuroExpand Brain Center, and we have a three-month program during which we improve brain, people's brain health dramatically, so much so wow. that we can see an increase in the size of their brain. It's just incredible, and I know you have a new book out as well. We can read more on it. What's the, the title, just real quickly? Boost Your Brain. Boost Your Brain. Again, here in Maryland, we're already doing a great job. But if you're interested in, of course, learning more about the book and just this research in general, please log on to our website, foxbaltimore.com. Thank you so much. My